Hey guys, it's SPW, and welcome to Let's Play... Yes. Oh, this game. This game. So good. So good. New Junk City. It's like New York City, but with junk. What's the difference? I don't know. I haven't actually I'm, uh, never been there, so... I can't have an opinion. Maybe if it was talking about Detroit, I could. Because I'm from that state of Michigan that everybody hates, and I hate too. But hey, that's life. Um, pay attention to that. Remember that for later. Seriously, that's actually a thing. Um, the reason I'm doing um, a, a Let's Play of this is because A, I love this game. B, the game I was going to do after Glover, I cannot do at the moment due to certain circumstances that are just kind of annoying. And C, I just kind of got the opportunity to record, um, uh, I just kind of got back from Thanksgiving dinner and everyone else is gone, and I was like, holy crap, I'm alone, I'm gonna do a freaking let's play of a game, and it's this game, because, hey, it's fun. Um, no, this game is for multiple, uh, systems whatnot, but I believe the Genesis version, the original, is the best, and I believe all the other ones are, like, really not even... The Super Nintendo one's okay, but it's just... There's problems with it that I just... Dude, I just don't. I just don't. I don't know. It's like... The, I feel like with the Super Nintendo... I mean, just... Spec-wise... Oh, crap. No. Get away from me, bird. Okay, I gotta go back and make him respawn. Come here. Die. There we go. With the Super Nintendo, you feel like you could only go up, you know? But no, they, they screw things up and make it not as good. And it just kind of bugs me. So I'm playing the Genesis version. Um, this game isn't too long, so I'm just gonna hopefully do it all in one go. Hopefully, I don't know. I've been kind of... Kind of practicing, so I, I hopefully know what I'm doing. But I'm sure there will be... There will be fail. There will be fail. There will be blood. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and show off, like, ev I th know almost everything I think there there is to know. There might be a couple of shortcuts and secrets I don't know about, but for the most part, I plan to kind of just show off most, um, the most that I can. But man, this game is just, I don't know, like, everything about it, everything about it I love. The music, the music is so good, just listen, just listen. And the voice clips are good. Plasma! I know, Earthworm Jim, his voice kind of reminds me of, um, uh... What's his name? Oh, now I'm gonna look really stupid. I can't remember, but it's the teacher from South Park that has the puppet. I can't believe I can't remember his name. Oh, wow, now I feel really dumb. I should have done the did to my research before I started this. Oh, man. Oh, wait, there's a dog there. Um, yeah, but with... This game, you got um, uh, a multitude of ways to kill your enemies. You can save your ammo by using your head as a whip, which I think is just hilarious. Um, you can also use your head as a helicopter. That's not a weapon, but that's just talking about his head. Use your head. Use your head. So you can use your head as a whip to launch yourself places. You can hit spikes and suck at the game. You do all sorts of things. Um, you can use your gun. Um, sometimes you just have normal ammo, but sometimes you have those super plasma shots, and those are really helpful. I don't know, it just feels good to shoot things, because you're just like, oh man, come on, kill that guy, there we go. Have the atoms come to you. The atoms are your health. Um, speaking of health and lives and everything, you're gonna wanna, if you play this game, you're gonna wanna get every single freaking health power up in every life you can, because it's kind of brutal. This is our first little mini-boss guy, the Bugle Boy. Um, when he starts... Oh, man, I'm kind of doing bad. Okay, when he starts doing this, you just want to not let him touch you, because he will uppercut you to death. There, but he's dead. Very cool. Very cool. I don't know, this game is just... Probably, I, I feel I'm probably acting like what, Corn Shack Baby or whatever, you know, the freaking guy who won't stop talking, he just doesn't even stop to take a breath, but <laughs> it's just, I don't know, this game is just great. Oh yeah. oh yeah. 
I'm surprised they got such good voice clips for the Genesis, to be honest. Um, here's the first real boss. His name's Chuck, because he chucks fish at you. It's kind of disgusting, but like I was saying, this game just kind of has fun with itself. It's like, it's got this dark tone to it, but it's also just cartoony and zany. And I remember seeing it as a little kid, and like, I wasn't sure whether, whether to like it or be afraid of it. I don't know, it's kind of like this, I kind of got the same feel with like, Beavis and Butthead, you know, it's like, it's like, it's a cartoon, and it's funny, but it's also, they're just creepy, you know, they're just, it's just unsettling, I don't know if anyone else ever got that feeling, maybe it's just me, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just being a talker, that's what the Let's Play is do, they dance like a worm, and that's how worms dance, oh yeah, you know he's on his last hit when he won't stop throwing up fish, I'm just gonna take the damage here because it doesn't even matter. Because <laughs> he's dead. See? And then watch this. This is the best. I just love that. It's just, it just takes freaking. Oh, yeah, and this. At the end of each level, groovy. Oh, man. This game. This game. Okay. Between each level, there's going to be these kinds of levels called Andy Asteroids, and you're racing Psycho, which is this evil crow alien guy. And you want to beat him, otherwise you have to fight him, and fighting him is so annoying. But while you're racing him, you also want to um, uh, collect these blue bubbles, because if you get 50 of them, you get to continue. And like I said five seconds ago, or however long ago it was, you want to get as many lives and continues and health power-ups and all that stuff as you can, because this game can get kind of brutal later on, as you'll see. Like, the first level, that took, what, like, five minutes? I don't know. It's not too tough. But later on, it really gets wacky. Packy, wacky, but wacky like this game, because this game is a wacky game. And that's just what we're, what we're dealing with here. Let's see, do I have 50 yet? 50. There we go. So as long as I can beat Psycho, which I feel like I can because the meteors aren't too hard to dodge in this particular Andy Asteroids because it's the first one. Yeah, we won. And now it's time for a victory dance. Let's see it. And then there's a random... Hurry! I don't know what that's about. See, we are to continue. They start you out with one because they're nice. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just normal mode, maybe difficult mode. Ruby. Won't start you off with one. What the heck? That's the name of the next level. I love the levels, like, all oh, everything. I'm just freaking gushing over this game right now. Okay, right now, yeah, we're on the planet Heck, but it's supposed to be hell. I mean, come on, look at this. There's, like, these demons that's killing me. That's sucky. Usually I don't suck that much at this, this game, but... I mean, listen to the music. Just listen to it. And then there's a record scratch, and then now you gotta listen to this. Oh, man. It's elevator music to the sound of people burning alive in hell. That's what you're listening to right now. And all the while, the boss of this level is dancing in the background. See him back there? That's Evil the Cat. His name is Evil the Cat. And he's the boss. Oh, come on. What am I doing here? I want to get that plasma shat. Plasma. I love it. I love it! Oh, man, momentum. I love it. Oh, and th that's not even the best part of this level. Wait until you see, besides these uh, demon things, there are other types of an enemies. 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 Oh, it's just... This game is so clever. I love it. Um, that's all... This, this entire Let's Play is going to be like, This is so clever. I love it. Blah, blah, blah. And um, uh, here's a crystal. Ra I don't know. Kind of random. But you run on it, and it brings you up like a, an elevator of sorts. Guys, this guy over there. Oh, I can't reach him. There we go. 
Come here. Yes, killing him. No, oh, but... Oh. The fire in this... I always thought the fire actually looked kind of creepy because it's like all like not cartoony like everything else. It's like this weird realistic fire. That's what I was saying, like how this game kind of has like a cartoony tone, but also like a dark tone to it. Oh, here, they, here it is. Ouch. Lawyers. Ouch. And it's killing me, actually. Come on. There we go, that's how you kill it. You gotta whip it, then shoot it. I forgot because I suck. Lawyers are an enemy in this game. In hell. Oh, it's it's just great. Oh yeah, then here's another mini-boss. A snowman in hell. It's just, it's just great. And there's this crazy wacky music going on while you're killing it. But actually, the snowman's kind of creepy. If, I, if you actually let him attack, which... I think I might let him attack once just to show him kind of how creepy he is. Come on, buddy. It's, I don't know, just like... There, he looks kind of creepy there, and I think I'm dead. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, ducking did nothing there. Whatever, but I got to show you his creepiness, I don't know. I think it looked creepy. Just for, like, it's like, it looks all happy, like a normal, happy snowman, and all of a sudden it's like, evil fire-breathing snowman, whatever. You almost, there we go. And then you do the you dance, and then you jump on your crystal, and you go. And there you go. Continue. Okay, now you're gonna actually, um, uh, get to see a little... It's weird, because evil the cat is back there, but he's also in the foreground. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, there are some funny standstill animations. Um, let's see, where, where are you, evil? There you are. Throws a bomb, and it blows up, and then spikes start chasing you. But there's a safe spot. Oh, and I think I missed it. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, well. Wait a minute. Here we go. It's up here. See, if you just keep jumping and stay under that thing, you're kind of safe. So now I'm going to go back and get that giant life thing. And also, I'm going to go over here, get some plasma, and get lives, and derp to der. Because if you know where to look, there are a lot of lives in this game. In fact, once you get to nine, the where lives usually appear, they don't appear anymore because you can only get up to nine lives. Oh, that's actually kind of a, a foreshadowing to what's going to happen later in this level. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can only get a maximum of nine lives, and then they just kind of stop appearing. But as soon as you die, they'll um, uh, start appearing again. I don't know, there's no shortage of... Um, uh, extra lives if you know how to how to get them see like that one you just kind of jump over oh come back oh why is there only one where's the other there we go oh sega genesis slash sega mega drive and your your blast processing causing everything to glitch i don't know where's the next there's a demon there we go. Continue. Oh, yeah. I haven't even died yet, wow. I mean, I know we're only in level two, but still. Maybe I, I don't know. Lawyer, where are you? There you are. Die. You can kill lawyers with plasma shots in one hit. It's nice. It's nice, but then again, everything about this game is nice. So, it's what you'd expect. Oh god, oh god. I forgot about those guys. Okay. Good, good show. Again, I guess I never really mentioned it, but yeah, those demon things kind of have a not so creepy, not so cartoony. Oh, this, Jim was just about to sing, and I didn't let him. There we go. Killed him, but like they're kind of creepy looking. I mean, the the chomping noise is kind of cartoony though. I can't recreate that chomping noise, but you heard it. But besides that, it's kind of it's kind of unsettling. I think yeah, this is. Where did the the boss the boss and there he is oh no he stole our super suit yeah I never even explained the story okay the, the first phase of this boss you just got to jump over his fireballs and they'll hit that little thing right there and eventually it'll break and he'll fall and you'll get your suit back so there you go um the story to this game ugh he's licking himself that's disgusting by the way that blue stuff is his teeth creepy huh anywho the story to this game is uh, briefly, um, how do I explain this? 
a super suit fell on top of an earthworm from outer space in some weird calamity thing, and it turned this worm into like a super intelligent worm, or at least more intelligent than a normal worm. And that's how Earthworm Jim was created. And now everyone wants the super suit, because apparently it's like this really rare, super duper cool thing. So that's what's like... Jim is basically just going to all these places to kill the people who want his super suit. So that's basically the story. Oh, and by the way, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, Cat, you gotta kill all nine of his lives. Again, this game! So clever! Mm, he's really killing me. Oh man, you just gotta wait. There we go. Every time you, you um, uh, take a life away from him, you gotta jump over these fire things. It's kind of annoying. Oh, come on! Let's finish him, like it said. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. Bad cat. Bad cat. Kitty cat. Ah! Um, but yeah, and also there's kind of like a, a subplot where they don't really say it. it. They don't tell you anything. You have to have the manual. There's, I think there's like a comic strip or something of it. Like, there's an actual official comic strip that explains the... The story of this game, but it's like you gotta save a princess, and there's a bunch of different evil enemies, and that's the gist of it. But it's not about the story, it's about the zany characters and the gameplay and everything, and vroom! And that's groovy. And here's another... Another Andy Asteroids. Oh man, these are... these start to get annoying after a while. I think the first two or three aren't that bad, but... Oh, they just... They start to get, like, really dickish in the placement of, like, where they put the little, um, uh, asteroid belt cocoa pebbles. So they look like to me. Cocoa Krispies, Cocoa Puffs. Cocoa Puffs because it's a bird you're racing. Get it? Because... Psychro's a cereal mascot. I don't know. Also, I guess I never really explained it. Um, these electrical things are, like, shields you can use, like... See, you can just kind of, like, use them. They last for a little bit. You can, like, break through things. Kind of, like, for emergencies. And, um, uh, the other things... I don't know. See, this thing... I think it, yeah, it turns you invincible and also kind of speeds you up. So those are just kind of, like, little... Nice little boost things. So get those. Let's see. How many are we at here? Are we gonna get 50? I believe we are. Yep, 50. Okay, so now we just gotta win. I'm pretty sure, yeah, if you get 50 but you lose the race, then it doesn't count. Because then it's just, like, you could you could take your time and get... 50, and then it'd be a lot easier, so it's like freaking Diddy Kong Racing Silver Coin Challenge. Collect 50 of the blue bubbles and win. Then come back and see me. I don't know. Hey! I wonder how I'm gonna split these videos up. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Groovy! Groovy indeed.